I think when you look at procurement teams, the first thing we need to do is get them to get a handle on their own internal inclusion. We know that just pouring diversity into procurement teams does not work. Um, they're a very tight-knit group. We always know that we have the end-line objective right, but actually what we do need to do is create an environment where everyone in procurement can be successful. And to do that, we need to understand what our biases look like. Interestingly, what we also find with procurement teams is helping them do some work on bias themselves actually gives some depth and breadth to the work they do. They're more likely to hire organisations that are different. They're more likely to view an SME more favourably to one of the great big monolithic organisations if we can actually cause them to take pause and ask themselves what they could know and they should know about any one supplier or any one vendor. Having done that work internally though, I am a big proponent of the fact that for the most part, I think procurement have a huge lever for us to actually leverage inclusion and diversity in a more global sense, in a more social sense. If you think about it, we ask the diversity questions of many of the vendors we work with, but do we really, really give it the weighting we should do? Uh, well, I happen to know that an awful lot of organisations really do think about what they write on those RFPs, what it is they're reporting on. That drives some difference in the behaviours of the vendors. And I do think it, it's beholden upon procurement to use that in order to help us to create a more inclusive world that then gives better business results to their organisations.